Hi, my name is Saeed. Um, I'm an Iranian living in Canada, Vancouver. Um, I'll be sharing a little bit of my experience um, in Nimiakaya, the healing center that I chose to do my ayahuasca ceremonies and my healing journey. <sighs> I, um, I had heard about ayahuasca a few years back and um, it had been in my ears never really thought about actually participating in a ceremony and I was just going through a very difficult time in my life I had um, tried all modalities for healing from emotional, spiritual, physical and mental um, sufferings um, suffering of physical illness, um, autoimmune disorder uh, insomnia, depression, um, a lack of connection to myself and just aimlessly wandering through life with no real goal. My father had passed away about nine months ago and I could not get myself moving in life. I was listening to a YouTube video from Gabor Mate, a psychologist and someone who has integrated ayahuasca into his therapy and um, when he spoke this time about the healing power of ayahuasca and its integration in one's life it really struck a chord with me and um, I was really moved I kept listening to different videos on ayahuasca and because it was a very dark time for me and um, I could not get myself out of that uh, place I just felt this is it I, I heard the call as they would say and um, of course there were self-doubts um, hesitation procrastination and, and, and many more um, fears come up with the fact that I would be taking a journey to the Amazon to do something as powerful as an ayahuasca ceremony so I started to, to do research um, I did Skype with a few places I knew it was going to be intense I watched many testimonials I read a lot about what ayahuasca journey entails and I wanted to be somewhere to feel safe mm. to know that uh, when I leave myself the most vulnerable I'll be looked after and um, I watched a testimonial from a psychologist and she she was talking about her experience in Nimiakaya it was a 17 media 17 minutes video and I observed every minute of it and that's when I really knew that Nimiakaya would be the place for me I felt reassured I watched all the videos YouTube videos on their site and um, after watching uh, Jill's story uh, one of the co-founders of this place um, I felt drawn to have a Skype session with her and um, after talking to her I really felt this is it for me I felt the application form and I pressed sent and, and, and a whole chain of events took place so I have done my ceremony as I speak and I try to get as much as I can of the experiences that I've had in the past nine days. Um, I have received so much love. <laughs> I cannot describe how much love but I can say I've received so much love, so much care, so much compassion. In every in every way that I could have not possibly thought. Um, the care into everything that that was provided, the food that I ate, the place that I slept, the activities that was designed to keep me going throughout the sessions um, everything that I was thought was useful tool for me um, and I was blessed to have 19 other individuals with me 
through this journey and of course the wonderful facilitators that I've made so much connection with um, I love them dearly I think they're my guardian angels and uh, they showed me so much love so much care um, during my ayahuasca experiences um, within different realms which is really hard to explain but I did experience different dimensions and different realms in my experiences and they were there with me as well I wasn't alone and uh, the confidence they gave me to to go through my ceremony the strength that was drawn from it um, it was amazing um, I connected with so such deep um, feelings um, entities um, archangels my own my own spiritual path and um, in one of my experiences I read about the death of ego or or the personality or the death before death but I really didn't know what it entails because I hadn't experienced it and I and I believe until you experience something you don't really know the knowledge that it will give you um, the sensations the love the experience so in my third ceremony um, of ayahuasca I felt death I died I died and I experienced all that it entails the crying for my loved one the hearing of their tears and cry the having to let go um, having a out-of-body experience watching myself lying there um, understanding that I'm not able to come back to this world and I have to leave all the things that I love and I'm attached to I felt and experienced all this emotion involving death which I was only reading about and then with the strength and love that was provided that was given to me throughout my own life experience and being here in Naimiyakaya I came back to life and the first thing that I felt needed to tell the facilitators and the people around me was thank you for saving my life because that's what it meant to me um, I was reborn I was given rebirth um, I was told that I'm no longer sick that I've healed and I can get up and move on with my life um, it's indescribable I cannot have I could have not believed that this would be my experience with ayahuasca with love um, with music with poetry with movement with dance <sighs> with a, with a beautiful diet with sleeping with other individuals with trust trust was the essence of everything I experienced feeling safe feeling safe with my belongings feeling safe with my with my presence feeling safe with my boundaries and touch <sighs> being vulnerable um, it's beyond words and just like I watched other people's video and testimonials about ayahuasca journey to the curious souls watching this to the lovely lovely spirits working on themselves and wanting to get better and having found no answers or just some answers through different modalities of healing I would highly recommend an ayahuasca journey um, and I would highly recommend Nimi Akaya the facilitators here the lovely Ilma lovely Amin lovely Muhammad lovely Leo lovely Ella lovely Logan <sighs> they're just a big part of this journey they're such professionals um, they're professional in what they do they have so much love to give I, w I could have never thought that this is possible never to be so caring in the hardest time that the people are going through um, to be so attentive to remember you 
um, I, it's it's I cannot I cannot put it into words. Um, yeah, so I think I think um, if you if you're watching this video and if you still have doubts, just take that leap of faith and 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 sign up and come here and experience for yourself and you will most definitely feel liberation the glow in the faces of my brothers and sisters the shining in their eyes the lightness in their energy it's undeniable like it just makes you stronger have faith in the force of life in the cosmic love um, in the rhythm of life And I'm and I'm hundred percent positive that I will connect with every soul that I've met here in the other realms in the afterlife and our journeys my journey is not over and um, it has just begun <sighs> the Icaros I cannot say enough about the Icaros there's so much power and when the shamans are singing the Ikaros, the care, the purging, um, being in that sacred space in the Maloka, having that beautiful soul circle um, of all these beautiful entities. Um, the fears is a part of it. Fears are part of the trust. If you don't have fear, you wouldn't have trust. Um, and it's from falling down that we get the courage to get up. So everything is, is for a reason. All, all hardship, all difficulties, all isolation, all lack of connection, losing the authentic connection to oneself is for you to be found. You need to find yourself. Um, so yeah, I would, I'll, I'll end my testimonial with this beautiful poetry from Rumi, which says, once I was lost and then I'm found. Once I had died, and then I'm alive. The fortune and the blessing of divine love has found me, and now I am that love. Much blessings.